Advanced Vision Control was the name of a tutorial posted on dreamviews.com, that lucid dreaming forum, in 2009. And the whole point of this Advanced Vision Control tutorial was that it was supposed to be able to help you hallucinate and tell you how to see, feel, hear, anything you wanted as if that thing was real and right in front of you. And for a little bit of background, the person who made the advanced vision control tutorial was the infamous My Linus, the guy who claimed, I've talked about him before, but if you don't know, he basically claimed to have lucid dreams that lasted hundreds of years because he could like control time in his dreams. And he also claimed that he was going to have an infinite lucid dream that he wasn't sure if he would ever wake up from. And that was actually his last post on the forum, like over five years ago. And ever since then, he's never posted on the forum. So this advanced vision control tutorial was just one of several of his posts that he made. And it was all about, the reason he made it was that he claimed if you were able to override your senses in the real world and be able to control what you see and create any image in front of your eyes, that would, in theory, help you control your lucid dreams better. So that was the whole reason he made this tutorial. Although, obviously, you can just do it lucid dream or not because it's literally just creating fucking hallucinations. And I will tell you exactly his tutorial because I've never gone much into detail on it and it's kind of simple, actually. But he does give a word of warning before he gets into controlling your vision. Um, he says... Once you are able to override your senses, it could happen that your subconscious mind starts creating its own hallucinations, which I'll talk about in time. We'll get to that. But that could happen. So that was a word of warning. He mentions like he was like, you ever heard of schizophrenia or some shit? So you must be careful with this because once you start playing with your mind and overriding your senses to create hallucinations, your subconscious mind can create really realistic images that aren't actually there. But in saying that, that's just a word of warning. I'll tell you what he says, practice it or don't practice it. Um, he says also he developed this technique over 15 years, but his friends that he started teaching it to seem to get it down in like a month. So with practice, you should be able to start hallucinating and creating any images in front of you um, within a month at like, the minimum. And also, this is not fucking visualization, okay? I'm gonna get into the tutorial, but this is not visualization. This is literally creating an image in front of you, and I'll talk about that later. But for now, I will just tell you his steps. The first step of learning advanced vision control is to create the canvas, as he says. And what he means by this is, you need to close your eyes in a really dark room, or if you can't do that, use a blindfold, which he recommends later. And you need to pay attention to the like static and particles behind your eyelids. Like if you close your eyes now, you'll probably see there's a bunch of like particles and staticky shit kind of moving around. And he says a lot of people don't notice this at first, but once you really like start paying attention, you'll notice this. And once you notice that and realize it's there, the second step, which is the most difficult and also the hardest to explain according to my Linus, is to paint on the canvas. And by canvas, he means all like the static you're seeing behind your eyelids. And he says, painting on the canvas is basically you moving or rearranging this static into shapes or colors of your choosing. And he says, this is the hardest step to explain and will require the most practice because it's kind of like training a muscle you've never moved before. And he says, when you're trying to move your arm, you don't just visualize or just believe that you're going to move your arm. You have to send a conscious signal to your arm to move it. So I don't know if this is making sense, but he's basically saying you can't just visualize something in your mind eye. Say you want to see a blue circle um, in front of you or like in the static behind your eyelids. You can't believe you'll see it or visualize it. You have to consciously send a signal to your brain to move those particles. And this step will take practice and is basically the hardest part and the most important part of the whole thing. You just need to rearrange the particles behind your eyelids into shapes. And he says a good thing. And I also will mention some tips on this later from someone else. We'll get to that shit. <laughs> we'll get to that shit later, bro. But um, he gave a tip, which is to put a little bit of pressure on your eyes 
and you'll see when you do that um a bunch of like colors pop up but obviously you don't do it too much because you don't want to hurt your eyes but he says the goal is to get these colors that happen when you press your eyes the goal is to get that happening like naturally just using your mind and after you've been able to do that after you can can control the static the third and final step is to expand the canvas and what he means by that is slowly start introducing more light into the room if you were wearing a blindfold take that off and start trying to control the static with your eyes open but like in a dark room and once you can do this slowly and slowly start introducing more light until you are able to control the static you're seeing with your eyes open in a fully bright room like this because you'll be able to do this when you get good at controlling the static because if you look around you will see the same static that is there when you like uh closing your eyes and looking behind your eyelids that same static is in the fucking real world bro i just spat on you my bad but this static is in the real world if you kind of look around closely i know this sounds schizo but it basically step three last and last and i guess it's not the most important step but you just need to slowly introduce more light until you can do it with your open eyes and with more and more practice my Linus says that you will be able to create any images in front of you with your eyes open in any room. And I'll talk about some examples of this, but I actually, this, this shit was hard for me and I couldn't really get it down properly. I do remember stumbling across this tutorial when I was like 13 and I did try it because I was horny as fuck and I wanted to fuck one of the Na'vi uh, from Avatar, you know, they're like eight foot tall blue motherfuckers. <laughs> You know them? I wanted to hallucinate one of them in my room and like, dude, I'm not talking about that. But, but I tried it and I could never get it down. It does require practice, um, but maybe you'll have some progress with it. And after this, after the post, in the replies, everyone was kind of helping each other and sharing their progress. There was lots of people making progress. And my Linus also made a reply talking about how we came to know about this technique. And he claimed he started doing it when he was only four years old. So he was having hallucinations when he was four years old. And he, it was only when he was a teenager that he learned to control it. He also gives an example of your subconscious brain making like involuntary hallucinations. And he, and he says one time he had like some soda on his desk. He picked it up had a drink of it, it was really good, he left his room, and then came back and realized the soda was not fucking real, that soda he just drank five minutes before, and tasted and picked up, was just a figment of his imagination, so basically, once you get really proficient with these hallucinations, he says your subconscious can kind of trick you, so you need to be careful with that, also, that's basically the tutorial I mentioned earlier, you can basically fucking leave now, I'm just talking about the replies, because actually, these get more interesting than the tutorial like these become a whole fucking mystery in of itself the replies to the thread and they start getting like really interesting and you will see in just a moment but around here after my Linus talks about his experiences and how he started hallucinating he kind of goes inactive for a while and for a time all the replies are just people helping each other out and sharing their little experiences with controlling the static and around this time then a friend of my linus who met him on the website comes and talks about this and says he hasn't heard much from miles but hers also i'm calling him miles because saying my linus is just fucking annoying but his friend on the site says he heard that miles was working as a government psychic and he doesn't go into any more detail on that just says last he heard he was working as a government psychic for some fucking reason no one questions him on that at all everyone just keeps yapping on about their progress and for a while he's there's more inactivity my Linus doesn't come on and then there's another interesting reply from someone called Alter and it's titled I'm back and this guy Alter claims that he's been friends with my Linus since they were four years old and this guy also is proficient at advanced vision control and can hallucinate anything he wants and he says 
him and my lioness always used to play together, like, hallucinating these things, and to them it was just kind of a fucking game, like, so they were like little X-Men motherfuckers, just like hallucinating as five-year-olds, apparently, and this older guy said he also got locked up for a year and a half, he was in jail, I think for smoking weed, if I remember correctly, and he said he used this time to practice and improve his advanced vision control, and while he was in jail, he basically was just going to his own worlds, and it was like he was dreaming while awake, because that's how good he is at the advanced vision control. The most interesting thing about this alter guy's post, though, is at the end of it, he claims that he heard Miles was working for the CIA in some kind of shadow group division or some shit. I, I had to pause here and I was like, what the fuck is this guy talking about? The CIA? Psychic fucking agent for the government? Surely if my lioness was working for the CIA, no one would know about it, right? But this is what the alter guy says. And also his other friend in the earlier post also mentioned something about that as well. So I thought it was really interesting. He also, Alter also gives a tip for the um, seeing static thing I mentioned earlier. He says a tip from him would be just to focus on seeing one color. Don't try and form it into shapes or different colors. Really, really focus on just getting one color there when you're trying to, when you're like on the first step or the second step of painting the canvas, right? That's his tip. For a while, the thread is more just people sharing their progress. There seems to be a couple people there who were like really, really dedicated to it. But another interesting thing soon happens, and that's that someone called Alita comes into the thread and posts that they've been lurking on the website for a while, and they're trying to find if Alta or My Linus is still around because they want to talk to them. So seems seems innocent enough. That's not too weird. They've been lurking. They just want to get some advice or some shit. But the next reply is from someone else accusing Alita of possibly being an alt account. So another account of My Linus or Alta. And this person claims that possibly Alta, My Linus, and this Alita person who is claiming to be a lurker of the website are all the same person. And this person says this because they said they had a chat with Alita because I guess there was like a forum live chat thing. They had a chat with them and apparently Alita said they had a dream where a person told them to come to dreamviews.com, the website where all this is happening. And that dream only happened today. So the person who replied to Alita said, if Alita only came on the website today, how could they have been lurking for a while? And after that, Alita kind of tried to deflect it. And there wasn't really any more information about that, all those accusations. The thread kind of just slowly died out. But I saw on the reply where the person was accusing Alita and Alta of being a My Linus alt, one of the moderators of the site actually liked that reply. So it seemed a few people also thought My Linus had some alts in this post even though he, it seemed he wasn't active and working for the CIA, he was still maybe not confirmed using alt accounts and acting like other people. So I was thinking, I was thinking, what the fuck? Is this guy trying to start like some internet cult or something? Because I've seen this before in these kind of communities, in these kind of more schizo communities, a lot of these people with these tutorials, for some reason, try to start like fucking cults all the time. They try to start like a cult or like some following. I've talked about this before and like when I've talked about other people doing this schizo shit. So I don't know what's up with that. Um, let me know if you have any progress on this. You need to be really careful though because I've seen a lot of people who practice this controlled hallucination thing. Some of them talk about how they're having nosebleeds and like losing consciousness or some shit. So I am not recommending you do this, okay? I'm not recommending you do this. Educational purposes only, okay? Um, just like the video, leave me a mean comment. Never join the Discord. Do not join that ever, ever, ever. I love you, I love you, I love you. I hope this advanced vision control shit comes in handy. Farewell.